welcome to LNLS, the Brazilian Synchrotron Light Laboratory. It's a singular lab in Brazil because it's the only synchrotron source in the whole Latin America. It receives researchers from all over the world, about 1,200 a year. It's located in the city of Campinas, the state of Sao Paulo, within the National Research Center in Energy and Materials. It has 17 beam lines providing uh, tools for research in nanotechnology, biotechnology, material science, physics, chemistry, paleontology, agriculture, and many other areas. We have uh, different techniques open for users, like X-ray diffraction or X-ray tomography or uh, small angle scattering and spectroscopic te techniques that can be used to probe uh, characteristics of materials like infrared, spectroscopy, ultraviolet or even fluorescence. This is the infrared non spectroscopy beam line and this is an ultimate tool for studying optical and chemical properties of materials in the nanoscale. One of the main features of this beam line is the ability of identifying molecular signatures of materials in a voxel that's typically smaller than one over a 10,000 of a cubic micron. It can be applied for investigating the majority of open case in vibrational spectroscopy where the spatial resolution is a critical constraint. For example, in the class of the two-dimensional materials, we have measured single-layer graphene where we could investigate defective regions is smaller than 40 nanometers. I work at XDS Beamline in the Brazilian Synchrotron. It's equipped with a 4 Tesla superconducting magnet that allows us to reach very high X-ray photon flux and energies as high as 30,000 electron volts. This has opened a new era of experiments at the Brazilian Synchrotron. The fact that the XDS Beamline operates at high energies with high X-ray flux allows us to do many experiments specialized for material sciences. That's included X-ray diffraction at high pressures, X-ray inelastic scattering, and X-ray resonant magnetic scattering. At the PGM Beamline, we provide tools to the material science community that allow them, for example, to probe the magnetic properties of each chemical element in their samples. Another possibility could be the understand of the role played by a catalyst along a chemical reaction. One particularly important point of our beam line is that here the user can find a set of ancillary equipment that allow them to grow the samples as they would normally do at their home lab. What's particularly interesting for those studying the surface properties of materials or thin films. LNLS is engaged today in the construction of Sirius the new Brazilian light source. It's designed to be one of the best in the world, a state-of-the-art machine. It's going to be one of the very first fourth-generation machines. It will have an energy of 3 GeV, an emittance of 0.27 nanometer radiance, which will provide a brightness which is billions of times larger than what we have today in Brazil and Latin America. It will be open to users in 2018, and it will have 13 beam lines in the first phase, and will be able to hold up to 40 beam lines in the future. On Sirius, we will be able to do the same kind of experiments that we do today, but uh, with much finer detail, and much uh, better resolution, better contrast, and uh, also faster. And so we will have techniques that uh, also exploit different phenomena, like coherent, uh, uh, coherence of the X-rays from Sirius, uh, that we'll be able to do di different kinds of imaging that we do today. We'll be able to probe the same kind of techniques that we have, but uh, with nanometer resolution. And also we'll be able to access elements of periodic table, much heavier elements because we'll have much higher energy. We are really eager to move all this equipment and see it operating at the new synchrotron series because then we'll be able not only to do things faster and better than we do today, but also to start doing time-resolved experiments and probe the dynamics of such systems. The Sirius Light Source will put this experiment in a way higher level. The ultra-high stability of the machine, combined with a very small and collimated beam, will improve the experiment signal-to-noise several orders of magnitude. With this massive flux of photons, we will be able to push infrared spectroscopy towards spatial resolution up to 10 nanometers. We can cite that we can study systems with very few molecules. That's very interesting to understand chemistry in the nanoscale. With Sirius, we are going to have an improvement of up to five to six orders of magnitude in brightness compared to our present ring. The high 
X-ray flux combined with the unprecedented brightness at Sirius will allow us to do a lot of experiments in material sciences, including time-resolved experiments and the study of materials in extreme conditions.